Well, it is too hot in much of the U.S. today, but temperatures aren't the only problem. As Amy Kiley reports, another concern is the risk of storms knocking out power. I've heard this is a thousand year event. A dangerous heat wave continues in much of the U.S. Yellowstone National Park is flooded. Unusually high temperatures are melting an unusually late heavy snowfall. That's coupled with heavy rain. It's a Yellowstone town and it lives and dies by tourism. Wildfires are the concern in places like Arizona and California. In St. Louis, this pavement buckled from the heat. Some animals are suffering too. She has no idea what's going on. The Animal Humane Society in Minnesota says these cats were crammed inside a hot car at a rest stop. At least 16 U.S. cities hit or tied heat records yesterday. Today, the National Weather Service predicts more dangerous temperatures in these areas. Note the triple digits in the southwest. Power grids in some areas are struggling to keep up. And storms are causing additional outages. For the last three days, we haven't had power. So we are staying in a hotel nearby. This is how hot it is inside your house? Yeah, it's reading about 89, 88 right now. Today, more than 100,000 customers across the U.S. had no power. Now, forecasters say severe storms are moving through the lower Great Lakes region. Some of those areas are still under heat advisories. I'm walking around in my bathing suit. <laughs> I'm Amy Kiley reporting.